I have a really cool drill that you can try in the backyard, in the basement, in the garage, wherever you can find a broom. Now, before you do the drill, let me explain to you a couple things that are very important. First and foremost, you have to have a straight edge. Now, for one of the first times ever, I'm going to tell you where to put this straight edge. I want you to put it level or in the direction of your two feet. I don't want it out here, but I want it closer to your two feet, and I'll show you why in a second. Now, the second thing is, when you grip the broom, make sure that you put it down in this fashion. I don't want you to put it laying it down, but I want to put it down. I don't want you laying it down, but I want you to put it down so you have a heel and a toe part. Now, the first thing you have to look for is how do you put it down? Because you can't believe that if you lay your golf clubs down closed, if you address the golf ball closed, then you're probably going to grip the broom like this. For those of you, not many of you, that address the golf ball with the club face open, you're probably going to address it like this. So, the first thing I want you to have is a straight edge to put your feet to. And the second thing is, when you put it down, make sure that it's absolutely square, perpendicular to the ground. So, let's get started. Grip the golf club normal, just like you normally would. And here's the very first thing I want you to do. I want you to turn the right shoulder out of the way and I want you to swing the golf club back, the broom, so that the handle of the broom is level with the ground. I don't want it back here. I want it at the nine o'clock position. I don't want it down here. So make sure that you swing it back so it's level to the ground in the nine o'clock position. Now, from this position, there's two things that are very important. Notice that the handle of the broom is parallel to my feet line. The second thing I want you to notice is, look at the face. The face is perfect, the toes in the air. I didn't go to this position shut. I didn't get to this position open. I didn't get this to this position too far inside, and I didn't start outside. I have it on plane with my right shoulder turned out of the way. Now, watch this. This is very important. The very next move, make sure you turn your right shoulder out of the way and swing your arms up. So as my right shoulder turns, my arms swing up. Now, this is a great checkpoint here again. Look where my thumbs are. When I address this broom, the golf ball, the thumbs are on top. When I arrive at the nine o'clock position, the thumbs are still on top. Now watch. If I continue to turn and fold, the thumbs are now under. When I address the ball and I have this broom in my hand, my thumbs are on top. Now watch this. When I arrive at the nine o'clock position, my thumbs are still on top. But watch this closely. If I turn, continue to turn, fold my arms up. Look how my thumbs get underneath the broom handle. They're cradling the golf club at this position. Now. Here's a couple of things I can assure you of. If you turn around and look and see that your thumbs are near your ear, right ear, look what just happened to the, to the broom. That's called closed. On the other hand, look what happens if your thumbs are away from your right ear. This is called open. But you can see by looking at the broom right now that the toe is down, so this is square and I'm on plane. Now watch this move here. I'm gonna swing back to nine o'clock, thumbs back on top. I'm gonna to swing back to impact, thumbs on top. I'm gonna to go to the three o'clock position. Now, when I'm in the three o'clock position, my thumbs are back on top again. And then I turn through and the golf club swings around and I go to my finish. Now, from this position, watch the thumbs. They're on top nine o'clock position they're on top top of the back swing they're underneath then nine o'clock they're on top impact they're on top and now they're rolling over and even though the shaft is parallel to where i want to go the handle of the broom my right hand is crossing over and it'll continue all the way to the finish